dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazi Namdekano, has claimed that the Eastern Security Network that was launched by him has the support of a high percentage of the Biafran people. Namdekano disclosed this on his Twitter page claiming that the investigation that was carried out by an alleged news media, the more bullet, has shown that 96% of Biafrans are in support of his Eastern Security Network that was launched to protect farmlands and all Biafran forests. Recall that after he launched the security network, several Igbo leaders condemned and called it an unrecognized security outfit because it's not recognized by the constitution guiding the nation. Despite several backlash and condemnation he received, the Biafran leader still maintained his stand that the security network will stand, calling on all Biafrans to put their weight behind the security network because it was formed to protect them from external forces. According to the investigation made by a news media caster called the, at the more bullet, saying that 96% of Biafrans are in support of the Eastern Security Network. So we are good to go. Hashtag Eastern Security Network must stay. We must dis defend ourselves, Namdekano stated. According to the media and publicity secretary of the group, Ima Powerful, in a statement yesterday, said the determination and the will of the people would motivate the security outfit to fight against terrorism and other criminal elements in the zone. He said, the Eastern Security Network security operatives do not need sophisticated weapons to defend Biafra land against terrorists, although such are readily available should the need arise. He further said that killer headsmen, kidnappers and criminals who have been terrorizing our people understand that the game has changed for good. The will and determination of the people is all that is required. The morale of the men is very high. Weapon or no weapon, we are ready to die in defense of our ancestral lands. After all, the Nigerian army, with its feeble, sophisticated armory, is today capitulating before the ragtag BH insurgents and armed bandits. Speaking on the Southeast governors distancing themselves from the outfit, he further said, we never expected the governors to support the Eastern Security Network. The governors are part of our problem because of their selfish interests. They are the ones benefiting under the current one, Nigeria slavery. But the truth remains 
that their dissociation from the security outfit is of no significance or consequence. The hashtag Instant Security Network is the people's movement and it has come to stay. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The claims that 96% of Biafrans are in support of the Eastern Network that was launched by Nambekano is what Nambekano is holding on and, you know, saying that since 96% of the people of the Southeast are in support of the Eastern Security Network, then that is enough for them to carry on and continue their activities. That being said, you recall that some top politicians and southeastern governors had kicked against the Eastern Security Network, distancing themselves from the group. But however, Nambekano has said that it matters nothing to them as the major people who the group was actually established for, which are the less privileged and uh, the helpless, the farmers who cannot defend themselves, have accepted the outfit, then it is job done for them and they move. So be that as it were, guys, do you agree or think that it is enough for the people to uh, accept the movement and whatever the government thinks is nothing? Well, it is what it is to a very large extent. If what the government thinks is not being considered, then I think to a very large extent, it probably might lead to some issues. Just like we had some days ago that the Nigerian army, you know, deployed aircrafts and uh, gun trucks into the forest in the southeast in search of the Eastern Security Network camp and the personnel to arrest them, as it were. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. How the government eventually handles this matter? will be very, very key to the survival of the peace in the region. Nandekano has a very huge followership that cannot be denied. But at the same time, will the government consider all that when taking decisions or carrying out uh, activities? Well, from the look of things, it remains to be seen how things eventually unfold. However, drop by at the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit on the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Don't forget to share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.